Whoosh! The Hogwarts Express has reached platform nine and three quarters, and it is boarded by four people. Professor Lupin, Hermione, Ron, and Harry. And then they will be moving on to the next stop on the train track, the Quidditch match. And the train comes to a stop at the Quidditch match. The passengers inside the train look out from the carriage and enjoy today's match. So, today's match will be about who is better at Quidditch. Gryffindor's Oliver Wood is the keeper, or Slytherin's Marcus Flint, the chaser. So, with that being said, let the match begin. And whoa, Marcus Flint just disappeared. I wonder where he went to. Never mind. Didn't disappear. Right up here. And he goes in for the swing. And made it. Yay. We got two more rounds to play. So first round is in favor for Slytherin. Next round has begun. It was a miss. So now it's a tie. Whoever wins, the next one is the, is the best. So now we see who is the best. Height. So Oliver Wood, make sure there's nothing gonna miss it. What? Um, intermission. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Marcus Flint's broom broke. So now it's time for the redo of round three. Let it begin. Marcus Flint comes in for the dive, tries to dodge, but it missed. That means Gryffindor wins. Then. Harry Potter did the weirdest thing, coolest thing in the world. Gryffindor's the best. We can do everything in Quidditch. Yay, yay. We are the best. We beat Slytherin. We are the best. Zooming through with our fire bolts and saying yay, hooray. We are the best. Nothing will stop us from the getting the chest. Now we will get the Quidditch Cup. We are the best. Wow, that was a nice ending. Well, that ends the Quidditch match. And then, after a huge applause for coming out from the train and bleachers, <laughs> the train puffs on. Choo choo! The train continues on its journey and reaches the one you've all been waiting for the Hogwarts Castle. Doot, doot. As you can see, Hagrid is here collecting the first beers and taking them to the dock. So, they can go in through the castle doors and get sorted. How about we check out who is seeing in the mirror very soon? So, this mirror shows whatever you desire. So when Harry Potter looks at it, he sees his parents. Brilliant, right? And then we have Professor Dumbledore. McGonagall's and Quirrell. Quirrell's the one who is part of Voldemort. And then over here, we've got a treasure chest area with, you guessed it, the Sorting Hat. Right now on a stand. And then, 
there's a ton of pets here. Like a spider named Aragog, an owl named Hedwig, and a rat named Scabbers. And then we got the brewing room with Sir Headless Nick. And then you see these stairs? We can fold them and then they'll open up. And these banners are who won the house cup. Today, this year it was a tie between Gryffindor and Slytherin. And up here, if you may not have noticed, is Fox. Dumbledore's. There are also some things that you probably missed when I was showing you this castle. First, the evil basilisk from the Chamber of Secrets has escaped. Tanchers, do your job and kill the basilisk, okay? And then inside the Great Hall, we have Draco Malfoy, the one in the blonde hair. Susan Bone, the long brown hair. And then there's the Harry Potter with his regular black hair. Also, there are some candles on the top, along with the blanners, which you may have probably noticed, but here's a close-up for them. And then this room with the chest, sorting hat, and those pets is the room where Tom Riddle convicted Hagrid in movie two. And the ghost's name is not Sir Headless Nick. It's Sir Nearly Headless Nick. And, and the spinning spiral stairs represents the moving stairs in the castle. And these part, the next parts I'm showing you, you would have definitely have missed. So, inside the great hall, back there in the dark, there's a fireplace. And then, over here, there are some good doors, some fences to the dock. The door is actually open. See? And, on either side of the doors, there are these small, tiny statues. You see it? It's the great thing over here. And other than that, there's just um, a ton of windows. And this is the tallest tower, and there's a ton of these crosses. Another thing that you must be wondering is, if you have the sketches, where did I keep the other mermaids? There, there are two wares to keep. Get it. One, remove the mirror of Erised. And the other way would be for me to open this up and then slide it in through there. So, that's some success. I hope you enjoyed it. With the station, the Quidditch match. The castle, the train, the tracks, and the characters. I hope you enjoyed my presentation. Thank you.